Okay, I'm just going to do a quick run through on how to find the distance between two points. So the first thing, I'll just do a little quick review just of Pythagoras' theorem. Because you'll need this theorem in order to find the distance between two points on a number plane. Okay, so let's just draw up a right angle triangle because Pythagoras' theorem uh, works for right angle triangles. Let's just say we have one side 6, the other one 8. And we want to find the third side, which is x. Okay, so basically the rule says, like if you've got your right angle triangle, and that was c, a, and b, c squared, which is the hypotenuse squared, the biggest one. Remember the hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay. So the square of the hypotenuse is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that means x squared, that's the hypotenuse, is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, so x squared is 100, x is root 100, which is 10. So that means that distance there is 10. Okay, so... If you're looking at a number plane and you want to find the distance, so the distance, it's also called the length. That might be the length of the line AB. And let's say A was 1, 1 and B was 4, 5. Okay, so step number one. You have to plot the points very similar to when we do gradient. So you go across one, up one, so there's the first point, that's A. Okay, the other point, across to four, and then up five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's where you are there. Okay, next step is you join the line between A and B. So you draw a line between A and B. Then your third step is you have to form the right angle triangle because we know Pythagoras' rule works for right angle triangles. So you form the right angle triangle that makes this, um, this uh, line here. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight the line. That's the line. We're going to find the length of that line. Okay, so there it is. Um, right. Just do that, so that one there. Okay, so if we count the number of squares in between the point, that goes one, two, three, and here we go one, two, three, four. And if we put an X on top of there, then we just use Pythagoras. So the square of the hypotenuse, which is the X, is the sum of the squares of the other two sides, so you have to add them. So C squared equals three squared plus four squared, C squared equals 9 plus 16. C squared equals 25. So C is root 25. C would equal 5. That's the distance between those two points. Okay, I'll just look at another one. So you go to minus 4. So across to minus 4 and up to 5. So that's there. That's A. And then minus 2, so you go across to minus 2, so that's minus 2, which is here, and then down minus 1, so that's there. Across to minus 2, so that would be to the right, and then down minus 1. Okay, join the two points between it. Okay, the next step is form your right angle triangle. The next step is you have to find the sides. So you find the length of the sides. I don't know if I wrote all the steps out. Plot the points, join the line, form, form the sides by counting them, like count how many on each side, and then you use Pythagoras. So you go C squared is A squared plus B squared, and then C is the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, so let's count the sides. This one here has two. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you're counting the number of spaces. I'll put an X on there, because that's what AB is. So X squared is two squared plus six squared. 
x squared is 4 plus 36, x squared is 40, x will equal root 40. You can put in your calculator and get it as a decimal, or you could leave it in the exact form as root 40. Now what you should do, Andrew, is go and try some other ones on the slide.